Hello guys, in this lesson, we want to add the search functionality to the project and make it like this. So follow this tutorial if you like to know how to do it. Okay, here is the bullet points for this lesson. The first thing that we want to do is adding the search route to the app routes. So let's go to the code, open the explorer and select app routes. Then here duplicate the homepage route. Then here write search slash colon search term this search is a constant value that you see inside the address bar and this search term will be a road parameter so we can get it inside the home page and use it for searching here we go we did this next thing that we want to do is adding a search function to the food service from the explorer open the food service from the services and here let's write the search function As you can see, we just wrote a function with the name of search that gets the search term as input, then tries to filter the sample foods that's coming from the data. And for every single item inside it, it checks that its name to have the search term. And we just changed both the name and the search term to the lowercase to make it case insensitive. So it doesn't matter which case you search, it will find it. For example, if you search for pizza or pizza in both cases it's gonna find that because both items are going to be converted into same case okay the food service is ready close it then let's go here now is the time for adding the search inside the home page it's very simple open the explorer and open the home page from the pages home folders and here first of all we need to get that search term params that we have inside the app routes so we need to write search term sorry search term equal to use params okay simple this use params gives us all the items inside the params but we only have one and we are getting one by using this search term here now inside the use effect we need to filter the data when this search term is available let's do that load foods okay here we just create a constant that checks if the search term is available then it uses the search function if it's available the search term is available it uses the search function that we defined inside the food service otherwise it uses the default get all for getting all the foods so we put it inside here it's a promise okay we can use then on it since we defined both get all and search async the result of it will be a promise okay now we can set a then for it inside the use effect and after that we can get data that is the foods and the dispatch is exactly the same because all the data or filtered data both cases we should load the food so the action will be the same okay but here inside the use effect we need to add the search term to the dependency list of the use effect anytime the search term changes this use effect should be called again otherwise it will be called only once we want it to be called every time that the search term changes we did this if we go to the browser and search for for example pizza as you can see we are seeing pizza items and it works but if you look at the home page we don't have a search input here so we need to add a search component here to have that so go to the explorer right click on the components and create a new folder with the name of search and right click on it create search.js then right click on it and create another file for the css search.module.css okay now go here inside the search and write rfc then save it and at the beginning just try it. import classes from dot slash search dot module dot css okay now we can use this search component inside the home page at the top of the thumbnails 
Okay, so it's coming from the components. Yeah, it's good. So now if you go to the browser, we see the search here. It means we can work on it. Let's go to the search JS, close the home page and close the app routes. Close here. Inside the search function at the first line, I want to define a state with the name of term. Set term equal to use a state. And its default value is an empty string. After the search, I need to change the route. For doing that, I need navigate from the React Router DOM. So write const navigate function that is equal to use navigate from React Router DOM like this. And we can call this function for changing the route and getting the search term again here. Use params. Okay, like this and then we need a search function that is equal to async. We just need to check if the term is available, then navigate to the search route and pass the term here. Otherwise, navigate to the home page. So inside the search function, if the search term is not null or undefined, then we do the search by changing the address to the slash search slash term. So this route gives us the searched item inside the home page. And if there is no term, we want to show all the items. So just change the route to the slash that shows all the items. Now we just need to return a text box and a button for doing the search. Set its class name to classes.container. Add an input with the type of text with the placeholder of search food mine. Let me move this to the next line, okay? It's on change should get the value from the on change event, and we need to call the set term and set it with e.target.value. And this e.target.value is the value of this input. So every single thing that we write, this set term will be called and this term will be updated. Then on key up, we need to check if e.key is equal to enter key. So whenever the user press enter and release it, because this is on key up, when the user release the enter key, it means it wants to do the search, right? So we call the search. And for its default value, we want to use the search term that comes from the params. Because when we refresh the page, we should see the search term inside the input box. Okay, so we need to give it a default value. And we also need a button for its unclick. We need to call the search again. Maybe user wants to click on the search button, not pressing enter. And the text of the button is search. Now, if we go to the browser, we can see that we have an input and a search. Now, if you write something, for example, pizza here, press on the search, we'll see the search works. But it's not beautiful. It is the time for making it beautiful using CSS. Let's do that. So go to the search module, then start with the container. Its display should be flex. Its justify content should be center. So it will be centered horizontally. Its margin top should be 3 rem. And its margin bottom will be 1.5 rem. So we have a flex box for the container of our search. So two items that are input and the button should be near to each other and in the middle. Let's continue. Now is the time for working on the input. So write container, input, set its border radius to 10 rem, 0, 0, 10 rem. 10 rem from the top left, 0 from the top right, 0 for the bottom right, and 10 rem for the bottom left. Its border should be none, no border. Its height should be 3 rem, width should be 20 rem. Its background color should be hashtag f1 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 its padding should be 1.2 ram font size 1 ram font weight should be 500 outline should be none shouldn't have any outline and any border so even if you click on it it shouldn't show any outline 
So if we come back here, we see that we have a round shape on the left, flat shape on the right, a little bit of padding for the text and a bigger text size, bigger height. Now is the time to make this round shape on the right, show it like a complete round item. So let's go to the code here for the container button, set its color to gray, set its height to 3 RAM, width to 5 RAM, font size to 1 RAM, border radius, exactly the opposite of the previous one, 0 for the top left, 10 RAM for the top right, 10 RAM for the bottom right, and 0 for the bottom left. So the right side will be completely rounded and the left side will be completely flat. Its border should be none, just like the previous one. Its background color should have a beautiful red color. So I set it to E72, 9 to 9. Set its color, text color to white and its opacity to 0.8, 80% and its outline to none. Here we go. As you can see, we have a beautiful search button, but it's not interactive. When you hover your mouse over it, I want it to change a little bit. So let's go to the code and here at the button, select container, button hover, set its opacity to one and its cursor to pointer. Now if you go to the browser and hover over it, we'll see it is interactive. Now we search for meat, press enter, we'll see the meatball. If you remove everything enter, we'll see all the foods and the address change accordingly like this. So. This was for this lesson. On the next lesson, we are going to add the tags bar here so we can filter the foods based on their tags. You've been watching Code Nasir, and I hope to see you next time.